Hey folks, I'm Jeff Arnold with Take It Outdoors TV. And on this episode, we've got a great show for you. We get a chance to take a young man on his very first turkey hunt ever. Now, TJ is 17, he lives in Georgia, and he's never killed a turkey before, so we felt privileged to be able to take him on his first hunt. TJ has a rare blood disorder that uh, he's been struggling with for a few years, and uh, it was our honor to take him. So y'all stay tuned. Take It Outdoors starts right now. Take It Outdoors TV is brought to you by Blitz Creek Game Calls. Finish them fast. Jagermeister Outfitters. Who are you hunting with? And Interlock Broadheads. Hey folks, we're here with the uh, we're here at Country and Western Steakhouse. We uh, just ate dinner with a young man, TJ. We're going to take him hunting in the morning. Me and Super Dave, Rodney, uh, several more. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. Um, anyway, we're going to uh, present him right now with a with a Blitz Creek Turkey Call has been signed by the Oak Tree Mafia. All the members except for one in Wesley we couldn't get a hold of him today. I apologize for that. But uh, we're going to present him with his turkey list. Brand new turkey call and his brand new Blitz Creek cap here. So here you go, buddy. Your first first turkey call. And you can wait. And you wear that cap in the morning. You got to wear the cap in the morning. It's, that's, <laughs> it's either that or a painting. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we. We're going to go in the morning and see if we can kill us a turkey and see if TJ can get him a turkey. And, uh, so y'all wish us luck. See you in the morning. The yeah, place that we went this morning uh, was a food plot and got a shooting house on it. We've just kind of been working on building up the past few years. And it's where we kind of take all the young kids hunting, you know, their first hunts. It's a little easier to take care of and sort of let them be a kid and be able to move. and sort of hide everything, just kind of have everything worked out where they'll be able to harvest their first turkey or first deer or, you know, just be able to enjoy the experience, just make it fun as it can be. We've just got it all built where the shooting house is in the center of it. We've got multiple opportunities for, you know, any direction that they come into, just where they'll just walk in and just be in, in range not having any problem, you know, taking care of uh, being able to get their first harvest. Really thankful to have the opportunity to be able to provide that and see the enjoyment on everybody's face. This adventure started uh, a few, about a month or so back, and I got to know uh, TJ through his father, and uh, so I have dedicated my life to taking kids that that really don't have a chance to be in God's great outdoors, and kids that are special need kids, uh, kids that are a terminal, kids that have been a victim of child abuse and sexual abuse, and you know this this is a mean old world, and it just it, God tells us to take care of our His children, and all these kids belong to God, and nobody else. They're they're God's kids, and this is what's pushed me to do what I'm doing. Uh, Briefly, Jeff Arnold and I have been friends for a long time. In fact, Jeff was on the first Kids Hunting for a Cure executive board, and Jeff and I go back a long way, and we've had our ups and downs, and then I became no Rodney Van, who in my mind is one of the greatest guys I know, uh, next to Jeff, and that's the reason we are part of the Oak Tree Mafia. It's formed by people that really care for kids. So when I found out that uh, TJ had a, a problem. 
and that he wanted to have one of his wishes to, to take him a gobble. So this started a month or so back, and, and, and uh, we, we had some other spots, and I talked to Rodney about it, and Rodney and Jeff and I were concerned about it because I knew they was coming a long way from southern Georgia. And, you know, you can't guarantee anything, but you try to stack the odds so it would be a joyful trip for that young man. Already whenever Super Dave called me and, and, and wanted me to, uh, to bring, bring TJ on the hunt, uh, I was honored, to, you know, that Super Dave did, did ask me to be able to do that. Uh, I've got uh, two pieces of property, thought it was a very good, very good uh, place, had a lot of birds on it. When it come down to it, uh, you know, our, our birds, birds just wasn't, wasn't there. I started getting a little nervous, uh, you know, with, with a kid in, in the shape that uh, a TJ's in. Uh, you know, I wanted, wanted to stack all the odds in his favor. And uh, again, I want to thank Jonathan Culp for giving him a call and, uh, and him, him, him stepping up to the plate. Hey, I'm TJ. I've been diagnosed with uh, aplastic anemia and PNH. Uh, it's two blood disorders of the bone marrow and causes my bone marrow not to produce enough red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And I have low counts. And I've been taking treatment called Solaris and it's pulled my counts up, so everything's looking a little bit better. It all started with me getting sick at school and I kept checking out and checking out and checking out and Finally went and got my blood work done and they found that I had mono and it, it triggered a, a gene to mutate the wrong, mutated wrong and caused my blood disorders. Well, I kept going to Atlanta every, every month, every two months and blood work was showing that it was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good and I started going downhill about before August of this year. I started going downhill and the doctor said, well, I got a treatment for you that we can try. There's only two kids at, in Atlanta that have it and I was the third kid to receive it. This morning we get up real early, sneak in real quiet and they're already gobbling on the roost. Just before it got daylight, the woods just come alive. They was gobbling everywhere. We had one goblin about 30 yards behind us. I mean, right on top of us, and it was tearing Super Dave up. Most fixed blade broadheads are held together by a front mounted tip with all the pieces supported by a weakened slotted body. Take away the body and the energy from the arrow has a hard time getting to the tip. Interlock is different. The longer tip locks the angle blades perfectly in place and transfers more energy from the arrow all the way to the tip for unmatched accuracy and bone crushing penetration. Let our inner strength give you inner confidence. Hunt Interlock.
up, baby. About 25, 30 minutes after daylight, we had three nice little jakes come in, but they never give TJ a shot. He was going to kill one. He was excited about killing one, but they just never presented a shot to him. About nine o'clock in the morning, TJ hears something behind the blind. He says something spitting or something, doing whatever turkeys do behind the blind. I look back and son, they was that was a dandy right behind the blind, coming right up behind us. Super Dave takes the gun, puts it outside of the window on his side, and TJ lines up for a shot. The turkey kind of skirts us just a little bit, comes up, struts, gobbles, and then finally presents TJ a shot.
Yes! Woo! <laughs> Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! <laughs> well, as soon as the turkey hit the ground, the blind went flying. Here comes Jonathan shooting out that blind just like he got shot out of a cannon. We were high-fiving, yelling. It was a great morning. We were so glad to be a part of this hunt. <laughs> Lucille kicked me right in the face. How far was that shot? 35, 30. Here, save that shell. Oh boy, I'm blubby. Good job. Great shot, man. Boy, that's a good turkey, too. Oh. <laughs> Proud of it. Got her, boy. Oh, we got her, boy. Oh, <laughs> Tell you just a little bit of what happened today. We, <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, right here, invited us down here to hunt his property. Let TJ kill a bird here. Great spot. Big food plot right here. He's been getting a lot of pictures. Uh, turkeys coming in here, so we felt like we could probably get it done this morning. But uh, we were setting up in his in his shoe house here, and had three jakes come out back here behind us and try to come out and it just they never did present a really good shot for uh, TJ to shoot one so they eased off next I don't know maybe 30 minutes went by had a uh, TJ said hey I hear something spitting or something behind us <laughs> <laughs> and I said well don't move that's probably a turkey sure enough had two big gobblers come right up behind the shoot house come right kind of skirted us just a little bit come off his hill and then they come up come up on this hill right here behind us and he took a good shot. I don't think Super Dave, Rodney Van, uh, TJ and his dad, and, and especially uh, Jonathan for letting us come out and hunt. We really appreciate it. I enjoyed it. Glad it worked. It's a nice bird too. Congratulations. Thank you, Jeff, TJ. Thank you. He that blind's coming off. I didn't think he was going to get it off quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, you gotta do me one favor. All right. Everybody that's hunted out of this and harvested a bird or deer, signs the wall of the shooting house. I want you to sign the wall. That way, it'll be here from on out. It's not a wall of shame. It's a wall of fame, man. Wall of fame. <laughs> you get, you're gonna get to be there, and it'll stay there. 
All right. I want you to do that for me. All right. Appreciate it. All right, TJ Longbeard. Yeah. Write it right. Uh, write it right here. Yeah. We'll just draw it out of that. What's your first and last name? Lately, people ask me crazy questions. Longbeard. Why exactly do I hunt? Today is the sixth, isn't it? Yeah, four, six, thirteen. Why do that nasty weather? And then just right forty yards right there under you. Spend all that time alone. That'll be a memory I'll cherish for a long time. I think Oak Tree Mafia and uh, Mr. Jeff, Mr. Rodney, Mr. Dave, and Jonathan for letting me hunt on, them, on his land, and especially thank Mr. Dave for calling me every now and then, checking on me, and asking me how I'm doing, and getting this hunt up for me, and uh, never been turkey hunting in my life. It was a good experience. I went deer hunting a couple times, never killed anything, so. This is the big trophy that I killed, and I'm proud of it. And yeah, I didn't know what that turkey was doing behind me, and I said it was spitting, but it was doing something. And I got him, and he walked up that hill, and I busted him, and it's all that matters. And I had a good time. <laughs>